So here's one that puts a lot of it different pieces together. This one I call the color mirror. It's kind of meant for bars or clubs or whatever. Maybe just outside interactive. Now there's a camera up there looking down, so I've got this viewing angle like this. And then it's reading bars back and forth, and I can control the lights. Now it's supposed to take on the colors, but I'm still working on a lot of the code. As you can see, if I use blue, for example, it'll take on the blue. If I use red, it should take on the red. Kind of. I've still got a lot of work to do on the, on the colors. Now, as you can see, the colors are actually working better than you're seeing them in the LED screen. So here, if you look at this, you'll see those bars here, right? Those are the, the bars controlling the LED strips. And as you can see, when I put the red in here, it's actually very red. But the screen doesn't seem to do quite as well as the, the OpenCV is doing. And that's because what's happening is it's being read in by OpenCV here on a QB board. This is what you're seeing here. And then the signals are being sent serial down to this Arduino Due. And the Arduino Due, as you can see, it's got a bunch of RGB cables. Well, there's 15 LED strips back here and they are all controlled by transistors and I am manually PMWing them so and fading in and fading out algorithm is still a bit glitchy here as you can see when it fades out it gets too many colors in it where it shouldn't it should just kind of fade out but it's uh, my algorithm has got a, a bit of work left to do on it so anyways the basic principle is easy enough so you stand in front of it and it's supposed to mirror the colors forward onto the the white screen now the cameras up there so it's actually a, an angle looking down at you and so first problem with this kind of an idea is as you can see here we've got these white bars in here that's from the LED in here there's some LEDs up in the box with the camera and they're drawing a white and they've got a white piece of paper there and they're blinking and as you can see I've got the exposure set down to about 80 uh, 80 microseconds I believe 80, yeah, 80 microseconds and um, as the blinks you can see the scan line in there now the big thing is as you're using a screen like this it's going to project a bunch of light back onto the user and you don't want a feedback loop so what I do is here I look for oh come on OpenCV there we go as you can see there's a, a bar down here what I'm doing is I'm looking at it I'm looking for the bright and dark spots and the yellow sections are horizontally extracted because they will be pure and they are fed into the pure image as you can see there's a couple little scan lines in there but I can tweak that by adjusting vertical crops in the bar threshold so if I increase the vertical crop those those scan lines will disappear but it will also decrease the because now my scan lines are shorter as you can see it will decrease the the effectiveness or the the to refresh rate of the total the total refresh rate of the screen so I found I can let a little bit seep through and it, it'll usually be okay that's maybe a little bit too much see if I can strip out that much that much should be okay there's still a little bit of a, a noise getting through but very hardly any now what this does is that LED that white LED up there is timed to be in perfect unison with all of these LEDs so by stripping out that LEDs noise and getting this clean image here this screen will never feedback loop off of my clothing or off of whatever I put in front of here it's it's not gonna flash onto here and then read a new color up there change the color and create these feedback loops um, if I take out this this noise reduction here or this this cleaning it will feedback loop and then the, as soon as you stand in front of it the screen just goes all nuts it's it's insane so this is the tricky part getting that out now I've ha I, as you can see my color resolution on here isn't so great inside the gaps here because a um, the brightness of the screen the brightness of this light will screw with the contrast a bit and B uh, my camera I thought I had a good enough camera but it's not quite good enough I'd like a little bit um, a camera that can handle a lower exposure and a higher gain this one if I turn the exposure down even more I can get my extractable sections to increase as, as the exposure goes down but the problem with that then becomes 
that um, this will start getting darker and darker and eventually I'm just getting a grayscale image basically. Also the colors don't come out evenly. As you turn resolution, uh, as you turn exposure down, the blues will come in less than the reds and the greens, which is very annoying. So my, my color balance is off as well. Now I'm trying to fix some of that with some smoothing and stuff Arduino side, but it's it's got a fair amount of work to do. And doing this manual PMW is annoying because I don't know if you've ever tried to manually RGB, but the, it's not linear. It actually is more like an S curve or a quadratic curve. So I've, I've got a lot of work to do on that one too. And then uh, because I'm also having to serial read and stuff, the timing's a bit annoying. But it's it's working well enough on a uh, first prototype and uh, I'm definitely going to be continuing to develop this system. It's it's definitely working as at least as well as I was expecting. I can stand in front of the screen and I can move my hand in and out to bring the lines up. I can move them up and down. Up, down. The reaction time is a little slow. My fading effect should probably be uh, sped up a little. And um, of course, so there's several ways to improve this system. Um, number one, put some white lights up here. Put some white lights pointing down at the user from the camera's angle. Uh, they, if they're always on, they won't interfere. And if, they're, if they, uh, they can even be timed so that they will only flash during the yellow gaps. That way, if you want your environment to remain somewhat dark, you can. You can simply uh, have that light only blink during the screen's off time and uh, you won't waste any lumens on uh, useless timing. Uh, basically, what, when the screen is on, you're, you're not going to be reading that camera anyways. You don't care what the camera says when the screen is on. So, uh, you can have the light only off on when the screen is off. That will help increase the, the color response here. Oh, look, my, fa my, my fading algorithm is freaking out here. Okay, right, there we go. As you can see, the color, the, the uh, manually RGBing LEDs is just a real pain in the butt. So, uh, anyways, that's the system. Um, it uses CPU, MCU, and uh, some circuitry. It's like uh, back here, we've got a bunch of transistors, and a camera, and OpenCV. So it's a rather large project, but I think this QB board here, this 4, can probably be downgraded to a 2, and it should be just fine. Um, uh, the Arduino Due could probably be dropped down to just an Arduino or an AT Mega chip if uh, these LEDs are also upgraded to addressable systems, that would be even better because then I don't have to constantly PMW, I can just update them when I want to update their colors. Uh, and then that makes wiring and setup just a whole lot easier. So, plenty of room to upgrade. Camera can also be upgraded. And um, I think those are about the only significant upgrades that would make a difference. Oh, and then of course the number of LED strips can be increased. I've got them spaced out quite a bit here. The more LED strips, the more brightness you can have while still having uh, a long enough off gap to scan in your your scan lines. Oh, and one other annoy slightly annoying thing about this scan line thing is as you can see here when I move around it's a little choppy. There, that's the wrong arm. As you can see this is the result from having to extract those bars. Now I'm running at a pretty good uh, frame rate but the higher the frame rate the better of course and of course increasing the ratio Increasing the lights would mean that you can shorten this for the same, shorten the on, on cycle for the same amount of brightness, which would then uh, improve your, your amount of pixels you can grab each time. So anyways, that's the color mirror. It's quite a fun little one. I, 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 I have quite a bit of fun playing with it here. I am definitely going to leave this set up in my house for now. Um, highly recommend it. I think it would work great in a bar. Uh, except for the lighting issues. This is why I say you'd want to put some white lights up there pointed down at the user and time them to only be on when the screen is off. That way you can have, you can light up the user without creating too many ambient lumens to maybe interfere with the dark bar club effect you want. Or just put it out in public in a mall or something. Should work fine.